and you'll see it knocks him out, but he will get back up. All right, how is it going, everybody? It's Flame Gaming here, and today it is snowing in Los Santos. Uh, <laughs> It's beautiful right now. Well, it might not be snowing today. I released this video. It's actually the 23rd I'm playing right now. But I want to talk to you guys about two new additions they've added uh, since the Festive Surprise came out. They actually released this today, the 23rd, the day I'm recording. Like I said, this probably isn't going to be released on the 23rd. I, I don't really know when I'm going to put this out. I, I really don't know. Anyway, uh, basically, they added two new things since the Festive Surprise. Uh, well, first of all, this, I w I don't, I'm not really going to count this as one of the two things, but it's snowing like it does uh, every year. And it, the 23rd, once again, I've said it like 15 times, uh, it is actually snowing right now, and it's very beautiful. And so I don't know when the other days are going to be. It's probably going to be on uh, the Christmas day, too. But also, uh, earlier when I logged on, it gave me one firework launcher and five firework rockets. I thought that was really cool. Firework launcher rockets. Fireworks, I mean, fireworks, yeah, sure, I don't know. But anyway, another cool thing I forgot to mention in my first uh, festive surprise video was um, they actually have the uh, Christmas tree on Legion Square again like they had last year. Um, it's very beautiful, very nice to see. Uh, I'm just going to pull it right now. This really doesn't have to do anything. This isn't new. I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it was beautiful. I'm, I'm glad they do it every year. It, it's very fancy looking. But uh, anyway, now to get into what the two new things are. Uh, the first one you'll see on the internet browser, some of you may notice it that goes shopping often. It's on the Southern San Andreas SuperAutos.com, but they actually have a new muscle car called the DeClassi Tampa. Uh, the description is it's the winner of multiple industry awards including most powerful and classed and worst handling and biggest fireball. The DeClassi Tampa brings the effortless cool of the 60s to generation born decades too late. Time to gun the engine, stare directly into a moody sunset and live forever under a roadside grave in the middle of nowhere. And it looks like a cool muscle car. I'm not going to buy it because I'm still saving it for the heist, for, not for the heist, for the yacht. But it does look like a very nice car. Uh, it only has a top speed of 150, but that, I say this is probably a really good car. It looks like it would be able to uh, drive and handle easily and be more of a relaxed car. It, but it looks really good. I'm not, I'm not going to get it though, but it's a very nice looking car. Now, the second thing I need to show you guys is uh, you probably noticed it already but uh, while I was here there's actually a new game mode called Beast vs. Slasher and it's an adversary mode, oh, just that snow being kicked up it's basically an adversary mode which essentially is the Beast from Free Roam Hunt the Beast and the Slasher which was in an adversary mode they added on Halloween I only really played the Beast like once but uh, it looks really fun. I played about like once and that was pretty much it. But the other thing is... Okay. <laughs> okay, that hurt. Another thing is that it's basically... I, I read on on the website that the beast is basically given superpowers. He can jump over buildings and he can give himself temporary invisibility. And the slashers are basically hunting the beast, trying to kill him. So it's a really cool mix-up seeing Halloween mixed with the that I think that's really cool that they tried to they mixed two of their game modes together and I want to see what it's like I read about it and everybody's saying it's the best game mode that's ever been in this game and it's tons of fun and I'm gonna actually be doing that in my next video probably uh, I'm gonna be playing that not this video but next video and I'll put a link to it and but it I, I'm gonna be playing it's probably gonna be a lot of fun I can't wait to do it I'll definitely gonna play that in a second but uh anyway Actually, can I read the description on that? Yeah, the beast is back, and this time it's got company. Only a ragtag team with slashers, armored up to armed with teeth, have a hope of stopping them. Beasts have to collect all the checkpoints, and slashers have to take out the beast. Alright, now that's it. Now, one more thing I want to show over in this video is that if you haven't played on Snow Day yet, if you'll notice, it actually kicks up the snow on your vehicle when you're driving around. You kick out snow on the ground. And also, like they did last year, they only did this last year, they didn't do it on the first visit surprise, but I thought I would show you guys in case you didn't know. You can actually click uh, left on the D-pad, and this is if you're new. If you're an old player, you should already know this, but you can collect up to nine snowballs and throw them at people, and it's tons of fun. And uh, it takes three snowballs to kill somebody. Um, if you hit one in the head, if you hit somebody in the head with one, it actually knocks them out. Like watch here, I'll I'll, sh I'll hit this guy in the head, um, and you'll see it knocks him out, but he will get back up, and it takes two more snowballs to kill. 
You see? And this person I'll just throw three at. I hit him in the head. And as you'll see, it kills him on the third one. Now they're really cool and you can have snowball fights with your friend and all that. And also, I like how it has the footprints and everything, but... Yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, learned some new... I hope you guys are enjoying the snow. Um, hopefully you play it on a snow day if you haven't already. But I love the snow, especially the sewers. The sewers look really cool. They actually look, they look really stupid any other time, but they look really cool. And all the trees going into the mountains is the best thing ever. And especially the Polito Forest, that is amazing. Anywhere where there's trees and wildlife looks really cool in the snow. Because they add so much HD detail to it. Kind of the, down here on the ground, they just kind of coat it with white. But the trees and everything, they added so much detail on and everything. And I really wish this was here every day of the year. Like, or at least every day of the winter season, or every day around Christmas, instead of it being like like three times the entire festive surprise. I really wish they would do it more often, but... You know, it's still good they did it at all, because this is a lot of work developers put into it. But I just hate to see all this work wasted for it to only be on here three days. And they probably spent a lot of time trying to add this in, or develop this. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you learned something new and everything, and see ya, I'll see you guys later.